What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Well, okay, gentlemen. It's like 96% male demographic and 4% of the female viewership is at least everyone. Not even, I'm not even going to say, oh, 2% of the four. It's all 4% of the female demographic is kids on their mom's account. That's it. That's it. So, I mean, we need to step it up. We need to step up the diversity. Share to your your sisters, your moms. They would enjoy it. Trust me. Anyway, another episode of Power of Peterson. Here we go. This is the current squad we're looking at. Looks pretty good all around. 87 overall. And I haven't talked about it too much, but uh, I don't know what the lifespan of this series is because we already have a pretty decent team at 87 overall. I think the end goal of this series might just be to win a Super Bowl. I'm not really sure. Um, it was kind of like a fun fantasy series. Like, we could bring in anyone, anyone we want. You know, it's not like a no-money-spent team, only grind squad. So it was a very interesting, fun series. Uh, I'm glad you guys liked it as much as you have. Um, but yeah, rules for those who might be just joining us for the first time. Uh, and these have changed a little bit over the course of the series. 100 yards rushing is an upgrade. 100 yards receiving is an upgrade. A touchdown is an upgrade. Three touchdowns is a tier skip. And then 296 all-purpose yards um, is two tier skips. I know it says one skip tier on there. But uh, things have changed a little bit. Uh, I think for my next series, because there will be a next series after Power of Peterson, I'm not sure when that will be. Um, but I think I'm going to show the rules before every single episode just so people kind of have uh, a better idea of what's going on if it is their first episode. But if this is your first episode, I would highly recommend you go watch the previous 13 or 14 episodes, whatever it is. But we are currently 5-1 and one after we lost a BS game to Grouchy Hitmen. But uh, I think we're going to make the playoffs no matter what. But let's go ahead and get into this game and see if we can solidify that further. Haven't really played Madden in a little while. So it could be a little bit rusty on the sticks. Hope not too bad, though. Here we go. All right, here we go. Playing Crimson Beast. He's got the new Brent Grimes, Randall Cunningham, Twitch Prime, and Julian Edelman there. We, of course, still... Rocking with legend Randall Cunningham and a number of other good players that you guys have already seen. You guys should already know who's on the team. But uh, yeah, here we go. We get to kick off first, which is a really cool thing. I'm a big fan of that. Here we go. So he's going to call a timeout. Okay, that's interesting. All right, here we go. I think I'm going to experiment with running a bit more man. He saw I was in 4-4 um, and then called a timeout. I assume it's because he expected me to come back out in 4-4. So he could pass the ball. It's going to be play action. Playing over the middle. He's going to throw deep. Oh my goodness, that is wide open. What in the... How? How is Julian Edelman so open? Uh, I don't know. Looks like he saw the opportunity for the one play touchdown. And absolutely destroyed me. It won't happen again. B is wide open, and he knocked it down at the line. What is he sending? Will fire three seam. Is he going to blitz me most of the game? This could be a fun one. Let's do a slide protect. Slide protect. Randall's got time. He's going to have to make a decision. Let's go back to Adrian. Okay. Great first possession. Will fire three seam again. Nice. I'm basically asking him to run the ball on me, and I think he notices... I'm not going to run commit, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a run. I, I'm, I'm even more sure now. It's not going to be a run. Is he going to throw at me? He's going to go deep. He's the same exact play. Really? Okay. This guy's sick. It's not even the same play. He just crushed me. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to win this one, guys. He's run two plays for a total of 143 yards. He is running the same blitz, which has stopped me once. Let's see if we can stop him. And by stop him, I'm like stop his blitzes from getting through and run some stuff of our own, run some plays. There's Marty B for the first down, 13 on the pickup. Will fire three seam again. What do you know? We have a guy that this entire series is focused around in Adrian Peterson. We got to find ways to get him the ball, and this is a good first run. Adrian Peterson, you're going to get steamrolled. Adrian, oh my goodness, stumble recovery, get off me. Inside the 20, 45 yards on the first run of the game. 
Yeah, keep running while Will fire three seam, dude. Sick play. It's a good cover three beater. I have no idea. I don't really know what beats anything, which is kind of a flaw. You know what beats everything? Randall Cunningham. Into the end zone touchdown. So we don't get the upgrade point for an Adrian Peterson touchdown, but that's all right because we're fighting for the game here. That's what I really want. I really want to win. Adrian Peterson couldn't get the score. Randall Cunningham does. And we are down by seven. Name of the game is stop the one play touchdown. I said it wouldn't happen again after the first one, and he did it again with a different play. Not going to happen again. It, uh, it might. I, I don't know, actually. I've, I've seen two plays. That's right. Jonathan Joseph is making his debut today after that nice hit. It's going to be the same play again. It's going to be the same play. That's what this guy does. Same play every time, pretty much. That was the same exact play. Is it the same play again? Oh, it's not open there for you. Is it there, bud? That's picked off. Adrian Amos. He's a newer player of the team. Here we go. This, this guy's just a trash player. He really is. He's a guy who just looks up what to do. Runs Shark HB Wheel three plays in a row. Yeah, he's sick. I mean, am I someone who really cares that much about being good at the game? Clearly not. I don't run eBooks. I just choose whatever play looks good in the playbook, and I run with it. Um, if you got to run the same play every time, if you got to look up from other people about how to play the game, I just don't think that can be that fun. That's just me personally. So I'll just pick any random play in the playbook as he comes out and cover for a drop show too now. It's just one of those guys that cares so much about winning that they'll do whatever it takes with no actual skill at the game, which I think is cool. I'm a big fan of that. Marty B, truck him, get off me. End zone, touchdown. Tie ball game. That's as quick as it takes. Cover four, drop show two, nothing. You gonna run the same play again? I'd be okay with it. Yep, same exact play. Go over the middle. There it is, there it is, there it is. Oh my goodness. Good knockdown from T-Sizzle. Same exact play yet again. He's gonna throw at me. Get him, get him, get him, get him, Reggie. Oh my goodness, no. There's so much space to work with. Yeah, this guy. This guy, I'll tell you. Okay, I didn't I didn't want, uh, run what I wanted to there. I was trying to come out in a cover four. And, um, did not work. Called the wrong play. Hold up. Yo, Adrian, 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 you're in a deep zone. Get back, get back. What are you doing in the box? Oh my goodness. Thank you. Same play as usual. Same exact fucking play every play. Now, I haven't sent any blitzes yet. But uh, this is, again, something I would not be opposed to doing. If it, if it you know, accomplishes what I need it to accomplish, which is shut this guy down from being such an absolute pussy. I'll do it. Good sack. It's Olivier Vernon. Show up for the team. Shark halfback wheel. Surprise, surprise. I'm, I might send a blitz. Fuck it. Right, I'm sending a little bit of heat here. And he gets sacked. Not so fun, right? Jonathan Joseph, way to show up. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I have just sent a uh, what I might coin as a cheese blitz. I don't really give a shit. And that's beaten right off the jump. Darius Slay got burned in, in a deep zone. 92 Darius Slay got burnt in a deep zone. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> That's so stupid. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Let's get Adrian back involved. I'm sure he's gonna run Will Fire three seam. So the inside zone should be wide open. And there it is. Adrian Peterson stumble recovery. Couldn't do it. Good game though. Two rushes for 61 yards already. And he came out and covered for a drop show too, which means the halfback draw will be open even though the inside zone's open. I can just run on him all I want. All I want. He can't stop me. Here's the draw. Here's Adrian Peterson. Oh my goodness, that would have been a monstrous truck. I'll take the yardage though. Now screens usually suck really badly, so I wonder how this one's gonna do. He didn't read it because he's terrible. I also made a terrible read. I thought the outside was gonna get covered and it was wide open. I had daylight. 
Did not take advantage. Third and one. Should be able to pound it through here. Hopefully, in the edit, I have not made any cuts here. Which means I could, I've just run for a first down. Yeah, we did. There, way to go. I'm just I'm trying to find something. There we go, Randall. And he fumbled the ball. He fumbled the ball. He fumbled the ball. Somebody pick it up. You're kidding me. It's on conservative, too. Can't be that mad about a quarterback fumbling, but, like, that's so, uh, so frustrating. Nice sack again. Jonathan Joseph. I'll send blitzes if I need to. I'm not losing this game. Although I might, to be fair. Oh, send pressure again. Unfortunate. Jonathan Joseph to the quarterback. Third sack of the game. This is not fun to watch. I don't think so, at least. Oh, shit. I'm not on a user. He's going to throw deep. Darius Slay, make a play. That works. That works. Not going to get mossed. Fourth and 24. I don't even think he's going to punt here. He's not. <laughs> All right, we're sending a decent amount of pressure. Nothing crazy. Sending five. Actually, sending four. One's in a spy. That's mine. User pick. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. I got to learn more books. Oh, let's go Shazier. Easy reads. User pick. All day. Randall Cunningham. End zone touchdown. If that's how I have to score, I'll score that way. Like, uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm looking to get in the end zone. Um, and even if it's not Adrian Peterson, I got to score touchdowns. I got to make this a competitive game. Honestly, with what he's running, I don't think I'll be able to pass in that situation. I expected him to expect the run, uh, which meant that I wanted to pass. If you guys are following this. So I think I made the right decision there. We got in the end zone, so at the end of the day, it is the right decision. Even if watching me scramble with Randall Cunningham isn't you know, the best, most exciting thing, it's what I have to do in order to get in the end zone and move down the field at this point. All right, I'm running a really odd defense here. <laughs> I've made some audibles myself. The middle looks kind of exposed. I'm going to see if I can put Adrian Amos over the middle. If not, I'll, I'll use her Terrell Suggs down the middle of the field for a post. There's a sack, actually. That's going to take us to the half. Jonathan Joseph with his fourth of the game, and he's going to call a timeout. I have five sacks on the game. I mean, I'll, I'll blitz if I have to. It's a regular base Tampa 2 blitz. It's pretty annoying when it gets sent on me. But, I mean, if this guy wants to do that, I mean, I'll, I'm going to do it right back. Actually, I'm going to blitz with Joseph. There's a sack. I'll give you a timeout. No, I couldn't. There we go. I think that was Geno Atkins who got in there. This is a tight game, and we get to receive, though. I really hate running power O. Like, I just don't like it. I'm not good at it. I know, like, how can you not be good? It's a play that's supposed to work. But I'm just not. Although, this works a little bit better than I usually have. Adrian Peterson somehow, like, tackled weirdly from behind. He's coming up on 100 yards, which is an upgrade. Five rushes for 90. Adrian Peterson is really having a day, but I gotta mix it in. I can't just spam him. And leave the middle open. I'll take off with Randall Cunningham, and I'm just gonna slide. Seven rushes, 52 yards, and two touchdowns. My offense is Randall Cunningham. I'm not afraid to admit it. This is, might as well not be the power of Peterson. It's like the wrath of Randall. And you vacate the middle again. I'm gonna slide. Keep doing it. Let's put Adrian Peterson on a block and release here. And he's wide open. Let's throw it to him. There's a spin move. Stiff arm. Couldn't do it. That should be Adrian Peterson. Close to 150 total yards on the day, which would be an upgrade. I'm looking at Stefan Diggs if he's open. Oh, I should have thrown it. Oh, I should have thrown it. A. Hey, I'm still going to throw it anyway. Oh my goodness, Chris Carter. Touchdown. Let's go. The Cunningham-Carter connection is real. Oh my goodness, that, they've ruled that a touchdown. Okay, what a throw from Randall Cunningham. That is unbelievable. That was open, that was under pressure, that was on the move at the last second. Randall Cunningham throws an absolute dime. You can't put that ball in a better spot. And we are finally leading in this game after being down 14-0. I do want to day on people, though. He's running a classic. He wants to throw that post. That's me. That's me. Oh my god, no! I wasn't paying attention to that part of the field. I thought I could get back to it. 
That's tough. I'm gonna run it again. I like the result. That's my spy. You're not gonna be able to get there. That's that's mine. User pick. Easy reads. Here we go. Here we go, Shazier. He's breaking a tackle. The speed is Shazier. Let's go. Easy reads. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. That is our second of the game, and we're in position to blow this one wide open with a score. That it's it's debatable whether that should have been an interception or not. He's gonna blitz. I'm gonna do that. That's open. His user sucks. Stefan Diggs. Let's go. Inside the 20. 8 for 11, 154 yards and a touchdown. He's back to running Will Fire 3 seam. Guess what? It's not effective. I don't care. Hand off Adrian. Touchdown. That's an upgrade. That should be over 100 yards on the day rushing easily. Let's go. Let's go. I'm using Darius Slay because I expected the slant. There it is. Gets in. Jonathan Joseph with his fifth sack of the game out of this Tampa 2 blitz. Oh, this guy's got to be so mad. It's his own medicine, though. I mean, like, you can't even feel bad for him, I don't feel. I'm actually going to give Christian on that. So he has really no idea what's coming. But I'm sending a lot of heat here. It's not a design blitz or anything. Just something I'm playing around with, trying to get some pressure on him. And pressure, indeed. That's got to get picked off. Terrence Newman steps in front of it. There we go. Let's take this to the house. Terrence Newman. Don't even need to. Doesn't matter. 35-21. LB. Chew clock is on. A couple of things are open, but here's Randall Cunningham. I fumbled again. I wanted to slide. Um, moral of the story is I didn't. Or I guess that's what happened in the story. I didn't. Moral of the story, always slide. I'm not even worried, though. Like, I'm not even concerned. So a bit of pressure there. It's going to get picked off. And it is. Adrian Amos' is second pick of the game. There's the spin move. There we go, Adrian. There we go. There we go. There are blocks. Adrian Amos, pick six. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Adrian Amos, pick six, diving into the end zone. Touchdown. Are we going to rage quit? Are going to pause the game? You should. This game's over. 42-21. That's what we call a designed quarterback fumble. Put that one in the playbook. Who would have had me up 42-21 after going down 14-0 to this guy early? Probably no one. But I, it was a bad guess because I am the best in the game. It's not even close. Give me problem. Give me skimbo. Give me anyone of any relevance at all in the Madden eSport community. Give me that guy, uh, W. I mean, he's a terrible racist. Give me him. Let me destroy him live on the national television. I'd cut the meanest promo in one of those. They, they can't have me. They cannot have me on the national scene. I'd be wreaking havoc, causing chaos, pick sixing, user pick, God, Reggie White on the sack. How many sacks do we have for that? That was just cover three. Oh my goodness, that got in quick. Jonathan Joseph with his sixth sack. Did I just find a mean blitz? Bucks land at three? <laughs> it does not work at all. I'm sending a lot of people here, but this is getting in really, really quick. Ebook out Monday. And sacked again. Jonathan Joseph. Oh, it's Dale Buchanan. Dude, this blitz is money. It really wouldn't be because I'm sending so many that it's not even effective against people that know how to make quick reads and beat it. But we have an opportunity for an Adrian Peterson touchdown now inside the one. Can this work? I need a good block. Adrian can't do it. And he is under 100 yards. We are four yards away. He needs If Adrian gets a rushing touchdown, we're golden. That's an upgrade. Adrian Peterson for the end zone is two upgrades at least. There's Adrian on the outside. Adrian Peterson outside. Touchdown. I'm going to go for the 50 bomb on him. We're going for two. Adrian, extra point is good. Two-point conversion is good. 50 to 21 should be your final score unless I decide to take the ball off him again and score, which I'm probably going to be merciful and not do. Maybe I'll go Whitney Merciless and do it. He knows this game's over. He's just going to run the ball. And he's going to throw deep, and that is overthrown. Adrian could get another touchdown. Here we go, Adrian. Up the middle. Boom! Called another timeout.
All right, and that is your game. Sorry, guys, I kind of was a dick in this video, but maybe play me straight up next time, and that sort of thing doesn't happen. Go ahead and look at the score scum... Uh, it honestly was scummery, but look at the score summary. It just took off. He flatlined completely. Adrian Peterson... Well, Randall Cunningham put on a day, by the way. Nearly perfect um, quarterback rating. 158.3 is the best you can get. Adrian Peterson, though... 13 attempts for 116 yards, two touchdowns. That is an upgrade for 100 yards. That is two upgrades for two touchdowns. So that is three upgrades overall receiving. Adrian had 35 yards. So, wow, we actually put in some work here today. If I'm not mistaken, and I could be, but I'm thinking 116 plus the 35 that we get, I'm thinking that's over 150. And if my math is correct... That is yet another upgrade for 150 total yards. What a game. All right, so I know we've been doing a lot of moral of the stories, but moral of the story is, if you play me straight up, maybe I have a more competitive game, because if you play me like a cheese ball, I'm going to destroy you. And I did. All right, so four upgrades overall. First upgrade I'm going to use, and this was a great comment suggestion. I forgot this was a thing. Um, and backup tight end actually contributes to chemistry. So I went ahead and picked up 78 Dwayne Allen, which times two to uh, ground and pound will get us to the next tier, tier four of pound the rock, which makes Adrian Peterson that much more beastly. If we go ahead and check out Adrian Peterson's stats, he now is up to 91 ball carry vision, which doesn't really matter. I am ball carry vision when I control him. 84 elusiveness, 93 trucking and 88 juke move because at tier four, we unlock, I believe it's plus one throw on the run, plus one trucking, plus one elusiveness, and plus one ball carrier vision. So it even makes Randall Cunningham better. And Randall Cunningham is already an absolute beast. 94 throw on the run. Such a good card. This Randall Cunningham is so fun to use. So that is one of our upgrade points down. You look around the rest of the team and it's like, where could we use an upgrade? We've done very, very well so far in this series. And, um... Three upgrade points remaining. You gotta look at the safeties. All right, so I think I'm gonna use two upgrades of my remaining three with this move, and that is to upgrade the free safety position going from low level elite 80 to 84, surpassing 85 to 89, and jumping straight into 90 to 94 with a very familiar face in Earl Thomas. This is a power up version of Earl Thomas. He has hot hands on him in case I wanna use him, which I do not. He's an absolute monster. 87 speed, 87 acceleration, 90 play rec, 83 tackle, 82 man, 91 zone, 87 pursuit, and 87 hit power. This is a major upgrade to our secondary, bringing area 29 onto the team. He is an absolute monster. Perhaps we'll see him in another series later down the line. I don't know. You're saying perhaps area 29 could be a thing. I don't know. Just saying, maybe. He's an absolute monster, and with our final upgrade, I think I'm going to address the strong safety position. Many, many people have been asking for Cam Chancellor. We might go ahead and get his 85, or we go with a different strong safety in that 85 to 89 overall range. But Earl Thomas is a huge addition to the team. And with my final upgrade, we're going to go ahead and get Rodney Harrison, 86 overall um, legend edition. I get it's one of the legends from his lowest overall to his highest overall. And this pretty well-rounded card, 86 speed, 89 acceleration, 82 play rec, 83 tackle, 72 man, 85 zone, 85 pursuit, 84 hit power, 6-1. He's got that uh, blanket coverage chemistry, which works currently fairly well with our team. I looked at a couple other strong safeties. I looked at Cam, who has 80 speed on his 88 card. I looked at Rashad Jones, who has 80 speed. Or I think Cam might have 82, but that's still a little low. Rashad Jones has 80 speed. Barry Church has 81 I'm like, oh, these strong safeties are pretty gross. LaMarcus Joyner, I don't know. I feel like you weren't all that good for us. But uh, in is going to step 86 Rodney Harrison. I think a pretty good upgrade to the team. And we're, we're getting to be a dominant squad pretty quickly. But in next episode, which could be as early as tomorrow, we might go ahead and upgrade defensive tackle, get ourselves a um, read and react player, in order to increase power move on Gino and Olivier Vernon. Could be the move also on John Abraham, who, this John Abraham is absolutely insane, by the way. Um, and if we get him powered up, he'll be at 90 uh, power move, which unlocks the next tier, I believe, for, for moves. Dayon could be on the way out because he doesn't contribute to chemistry at all. And it could be kind of important coming down the line, but Dayon is such a beast. I don't know if I could do that. 
But thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Take it easy. Shit, don't